All right, this is kind of a disclaimer or just a short explanation about this video. It's kind of depressing, and I struggled with whether or not to put it up because I think some people might think it's inappropriate to make a video about a package that I got on the same day that I got really horrible, devastating news. But it was kind of a, a bright spot in the middle of the day, and I'd just been thinking about it so much. I was happy to sort of get, take my mind off of it for a little bit and I just you know I just feel like even though it still hurts a lot uh, because it's fresh you know and it's always gonna be there uh, it was something that I yeah I just I thought it was uh, anyway it's not that I it's not something that I did without thought you know I wasn't just jumping into it or whatever I I was kind of taking the opportunity to to live for a little while without just mm, wallowing in grief. So honestly, if you if you think this is inappropriate, I I uh, understand and appreciate that opinion. I disagree, and it's my grief, really. So it's at the end of the day, it's my call, I guess. Uh, my. Yeah, I don't want to say anymore. I'll just let you watch the video, and I mean, if you really have that big of a problem with it, you're welcome to thumb down and, and unsubscribe. I'm just telling you that this video is pretty depressing, uh, but it it is good because it's a good reminder to to live, you know, while we while we're here, and to love the people around us, and and to tell them and to show them that. So <clears throat> I'll stop talking now. Sorry. What's up, people? Quite a day, and I was not going to talk about any of this, but I just don't, you know, whatever. So, I uh, I woke up this morning to the news that my father, who's been battling cancer, uh, passed away, and it was kind of expected, but we were hoping he, you know, pull out, pull it out, and you know, be able to go for a few more years. But he was weak, and I don't know. When I got the email saying you need to call home, I knew what it was about. So. I don't know what's happening for me. I don't know if I'm going to stay in Japan or go home. Go home. I don't know what's home. Go back to the U.S. for for a few years or, or what I'm going to do. But I hate keeping, you know, stuff, holding stuff back. It's not necessary. And I guess everybody deals with grief in their own way. So whatever. If somebody has a problem with the fact that I'm making this video on the day that my father passed away, well, you don't know anything. So just, uh... I'm sorry that you, you jumped to conclusions. Right, so, uh, obviously dealing with that and trying to figure out what to do and, and grieving. Uh, we were going to watch the Seattle Seahawks game, the Super Bowl, which very much turned out to be the Seattle Seahawks game. They destroyed the Broncos, and if you're a Broncos fan, I'm sorry, man. Congratulations on getting it that far, but what a game. And uh, the plan was to call my dad during or after the game and, and you know, talk about it, but that obviously won't happen, so... Yeah, quite a quite a um, river of emotions right now. A lot of stuff, and there's more. But why bother going into everything, you know, with work and stuff? But this came from my good friend Lloyd Retro Dreaming, and he's included this this printout of Mario. That's kind of how I feel right now, actually. So, how about that? Oh man. And I haven't opened it yet, but this time I'll just go ahead and open it right on camera so you can see it at the same time I do. So here we go. All right. Uh, first off, we have <laughs> what is this? This is a digital AV adapter that I can use uh, with with my iPad 2, and I think also with my iPhone 4s. Plug it in through uh, HDMI, and then the thing on the bottom. And he said he couldn't use it anymore, so he gave it to me. Thank you, because I still use my iPad 2 for a lot of stuff. And this is fake money. <laughs> uh, it looks a lot like the real thing, but it's cheap paper and it says Gangu Ginko, which means gang bank, I guess. It's kind of funny. And then this is my second ever 3DS game for the... Uh, PAL 3DS, Super Street Fighter 4, 3D edition, nice, 
uh, that being the PAL 3DS that Lloyd also sent me. And then we were talking about video cassettes, and he's like, I have this, and I was just about to bin it. And I said, don't do it. So these are my first ever PAL VHS tapes. And it's the Indiana Jones movies that matter. I mean, the last one, you know, it is what it is. I don't know, but I have... Why do I say phrases like that? So we talked about this on Skype, and he has sent it. So here it is, Lloyd. Costs a lot more to send than I'm, you know... But growing up, actually my dad and I used to watch uh, this one, Raiders of the Lost Ark. So just another one of those those memories. I'm sure a lot of them will be cropping up. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Show. Uh, next. Oh, finally one of these boxes. This is a boxed copy of Sky Mission for the Super Famicom. And it's got one of these cases. You know, that keeps the games minty, so that's pretty sweet. This came really fast, so I'm happy about that, thank you. And then, what do we have here? PlayStation 2, this is for the PAL PlayStation 2, which I, well, I'll just leave that. This is for the PAL PlayStation 2. Zionide Resurrection, and it's a 3D shooter. It's all right. Uh, it has its moments, but being the shoot 'em up fan that I am, it's something that I'm happy to have for sure. This is something I'm excited to get. This is Ikaruga Appreciate DVD, showing you know gameplay and how to how to do it. And he's made me this really nice case for it. it looks really nice, Lloyd. Thanks a lot. And I really like this case. This is cool. Uh, I don't, if I'm smart enough to figure out how to get it open, that'll be even better. Uh, so yeah, this is really a nice case. Super jewel box, it says on it. I've never seen a case like this. That's cool. That's neat. All right, and then, mm -hmm. and then we have what is this? This is oh, <laughs> this is the. Dreamcast RF connector, which also he's like, I'm gonna bin it, and I said, No, man, I want that. I don't know why. I just I like old school stuff like this, and there's something about having an RF adapter for the Dreamcast I thought would be kind of neat. And on the box for customs, it said there was a mug, so I'm gonna just hope that what happened with that is, is it went, got put in another box, and not that customs took it because it was pornographic. Uh, I don't think it said in here, on here that it was opened by customs, did it? Let's see. Uh, don't know that it would have fit in there anyway. I'm not sure, but I'm just looking. It doesn't look like it says anything on here about being opened by customs, so he, he did write mug. It says console games and mug, so I'm just I'm thinking maybe when that was got written on there that it was in the other box. So cool, man. Thanks again. Really thanks as always. And thanks for the intro. And uh, I'll be in touch. Talk to you soon. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll still be making YouTube videos. I just don't know where I'm going to end up and stuff right now. A lot of stuff is very much up in the air. And, <clears throat> yeah. But there's nothing I can do now. It's Sunday night. I can't get a hold of the people in the U.S. and that I need to talk to, like lawyers and stuff. So we'll see. Uh, but I'll be back, I reckon. So thanks for watching, and uh, bye bye.